Scorpion Prox, one of the young twins from Chile that shocked the, shocked the NRS community. Two young kids, I think they're six years old each. I actually don't know. I, 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 they're, they're young in their teens. Both of them show up to CEO and I don't know, body the entire Mortal Kombat community there. I'm going to say it. I was very I much, it. dude, I was in awe sitting there and watching it. I was, because I hadn't, I'd heard of them, but I'd never really had a chance to see them play, which I think is rather common for South American Mortal yes. Kombat, that there are so many fantastic players in that part of the world that they might not be able to travel all that much, whether it's for visa reasons, whether it's for just financial reasons, man. Like, traveling can be really expensive for some players. So we don't get a chance to see them go up against everyone else. They're fantastic at playing each other. When you'd watch things like Liga Latina, for example, yep. it's a tree. Having them here on your home soil, that is where things get a bit different because they rocked up. Oh, no, he missed it. Just, just give him a fist bump, dude. Bro, no. Not like this. No, man, no. That oh, reminds me of the Fatal 8 handshake. Way. That's the Fatal 8 handshake all over again. <laughs> he didn't see it. He turned around right as he did it. And but, then he tried again and he turned around again. But what I was going to say was I had a, a lucky, lucky honor to watch them play quite a few times before that. And it was in part due to my co-commentator earlier, Dijon, who runs a ton of Latin American series, got to watch those two in a grand finals of one of his events. And my jaw was on the ground from start to end. That's the man right there. Top Siete Games, their sponsor. That's Dijon there in the middle. There's his brother, Nicolas. The whole crew's out here from Chile. Latin America represented La Familia in the chat. Question is, how many of them are going to make top eight? A substantial amount did in CEO. Are they going to get even more this time? And they brought some more players from Chile that, that Dijon was telling me could have some secret sauce in these brackets. So I'm excited to see it. Well, it won't be a secret for very long if they make it into that top eight, let me tell you. Mm -mm, no better way to get your name out there than with a result here in Offline Mortal combat and this is this is shaking up quite a few things this year because i'm looking at evo right now catch up i'm looking at evo and this might be a bold statement i could get flamed for this but i think that this year might be the highest chance america has at losing mortal kombat we've never lost mortal kombat at evo we've gotten no. close boxy yeah. got close tech master, master got close place. yeah if it, if it wasn't for the fox we'd be <laughs> But I think that these two, and with some of the other larger threats out there in the world, everyone's getting better, and we see the talent that's out there. And as long as we can get them to play in a setting like this, we're going to be seeing some magic. Are you suggesting that if Sonic Fox didn't exist to carry you, then uh, Foxy and Tekken Master would have won Evo? Well, that, I mean, that's, that, that's a fact. I don't, I don't think I can... <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn people about Tekken Master that year, and no one listened to me. No one did. Yeah, 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 you say, say, yeah, whatever. How much could you know? Tekken Master gets second place. Second place. Second place. The infamous hat off from the Sonic moment. Fox. Total Khan. All right. On the reset. Whoa, Kotal Khan and Spawn Well, here. if I'm not mistaken, he's wearing different clothes and again, the mask, but I do believe the uh, Spawn player is K-Mac. Oh, yeah, oh, I, a I, really good spawn too. I, I spoke to him yesterday. We we had a bit of a brief chat, and I I, I, I do recognize he has the mask on though. But uh, and, and Scorpion Prox, Kotal Khan, yes, Kotal. They play all the good characters. I, I'm petrified because people, someone of his caliber with this character, is a scary scary thing to me. Because you only really see, shocking this statement, you really only see Kotal Khan specialists play Kotal Khan in tournament. And they're all American. Yep. They're all American. Kotal Khan is a very American character, like, genuinely. <laughs> Nowhere near as popular in other places. The wake up jump. Oh, and he's playing the one. Getting more mileage out of his neutral jump. But you're my man! 423! Hello! Holy moly. This has been a fantastic first round going for the charge here. Taking the minus frame. So that's that's one of the greatest aspects to Kotal Khan's mid command grab is minus seven versus command. That can be a punish. Yes. Against Kotal Khan becomes a mix up versus other characters where they get flawless block, they get blah, blah, blah. No, you have to either guess command grab or check. Really smart by Scorpion Prox. K-Mac's done a really good job so far, but he's far from safe. Looking at that fatal blow territory, the advancing mids. Staggers, puts himself minus, he's always in danger. K 
K-Mac holding on to the meter, doing a good job of uh, playing that risky game, you know. And Kotal Kahn's gonna struggle to play Mortal Kombat 11 at 3-4 range. It's one of the biggest, I'm actually not the biggest fan of, of, of this matchup, especially in the corner when Spawn gets into jail, jail space, where he gets 3-4, oh wow. That's gonna be a punish, but lucky for Scorpion Proxy to have the meter. And it's gonna force the breakaway. You almost have to break away right there. You don't want Papa Khan to send you to the corner with a damage buff. It's gonna happen anyway. Here we go. Drinking the blood. I gotta say, what I'm really in um, I think impressed by with K Max so far is how much he believes in those instant neutral jumps, because he's already putting in that glide. Mm -hmm. He's getting that double jump too every single time for a little bit of extra damage here. There's the one two, the down one to challenge it, the plus frames the one one, and Scorpion Prox happy to sit there and respect it. Ooh, look good man here. Just quick mixes. Every single button's gonna be a mix up as long as you got command grab though, especially off the stand one. The bully with down four, and that's so plus you really don't want to try to disrespect the hit advantage of that. Came back, can he get out of this corner? Nice tech from Scorpion. He's standing his ground. Let him whip. Oh my! Oh! And that down two connects oh. from across the ocean at that range. My goodness. Oh, his something just He's hits warming up. Different. Something hits different about a flawless block with punish. Oh, he has the meter. Not, not, on, not on the first hit, but on the second part of a string that's already active. Oh, does not get the cross-up jump in? That is unfortunate now, K-Mac. Reversal projectile. I mean, you can see right here, right? The homie's supporting him, and that's what you want to see. The double jump in. Restand. Lots of damage. Double jump once more. Yo, K-Mac. K-Mac is using that lethal glide more than I've ever seen any spawn player use. And he can use the neutral too to bait Kotal Khan trying to anti-air, because a lot of Kotals want to anti-air. Stand one, especially backed up by Con Cut, is a good day at the office. Plus frames. Hey, Scorpion Pro. Oh, this is, he, this is he rough. He loses frames. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I was about to say, this is the only spot you do not want to be. And he just told me to shut up, Aquaman, and watch this fall. Let's block. I'm about to be godlike. It's just. Oh. You always feel like you've seen it all, and then that happens. Every time I watch this kid, I want to throw up. <laughs> Every time. I mean... And this is regular for them. This is... That was only a light golf club. They're like, yeah, okay, cool. He flawless block something. Yeah, well done, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make sure you do more of that, yeah? Make sure you do more of that. Animals. Hey, look. On a serious note. Oh. That was sick. That, I mean, that's the answer. They're going to duck and flawless block? That's the immediate turnaround, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Give them the same thing again and see what happens. Information was given there. Which means K-Mac is thinking, and he's thinking awfully hard. And every touch has led to some big boy spawn damage. Uh, it's been a fantastic set so far. The flawless block once more. Cheeky little down one. I think maybe trying to bait some kind of flawless block there, perhaps with the empty jump that K-Mac. Unfortunately, he's going to get clipped there. Scorpion Prox. Come on, grab to enter and begin. Oh no! It's not even gonna be worth it. Oh no, he dropped the command grab. That would have killed, or maybe he read uh, Breakaway coming late. Maybe he read Breakaway, because 470 health, that's a lot for Spawn. Spawn can get that. Yes, he can. I, I, I was afraid. Especially in the corner. Round two. Don't want to get touched right there. Scorpion Prox holds the lead. Almost got the whiff punish on the stand three. It's a tech. Did get too aggressive off the down four on block. Really smart. Hey, all things considered, K-Mac has been playing really well. It's just that Scorpion Prox, if there's anything about this matchup, he is doing it. Oh, if it wasn't for that flawless block, he was in prison at the end of that last one. Wow. Oh! Unconventional punish, but hey, a punish nonetheless. Especially for Spawn. I mean, that was 40% with his name on it. Oh, boy. We haven't seen a lot of tick throws work out for Kotal Khan tonight. I will say that, or, or this morning. Today. Oh, is that going to be death? K-Mac is on the board. Sending him. Yeah. To hell with that one! It's coming down again. The use of the Lethal Glide. When he believes in that jump in, he dedicates. Damage. And damage makes perfect sense. Double jump three. Hey! 40%. Oh! oh god! He, he may have floated a little too long on that one. If he would have gotten full damage there, Scorpion Prox was one guess from death already. Woke up with the instant jump one! Lethal Glide Ooh. is the exact word that I would describe it with. Another throw. Space is built. K-Mac is feeling it. K-Mac has not been going for a lot of grabs. That one was incredibly smart. And Scorpion Prox, mind you guys, if he, if he loses this, we might see a character select. He plays the uh -oh. whole game, And we did see him win CEO with Cabal and a few other characters. We did see the Nightwolf Mirror in Grand Finals. 
as they were having some fun. This is some BP damage, and this is Papa Khan coming in with one hit that could potentially kill. Back to back folks. Oh, there's the back one. Checked it with a mid, really smart in the negativity of the down three. Look at K-Mac, he's looking composed here. K-Mac is playing extremely well. We're seeing some good stuff so far. Wow. Taking what is a rather simple game plan with Spawn and just mixing it up enough. And the use of the glide, I've got to say, really impressed. Uh-oh! Wow, he said he's the big guy. Put that sword down. <laughs> and that's a big read for Spawn to make because at that same range, if he doesn't do 4-2 and you do 3-4, you get whiff punished by the 4-2. That's, that's half-screen footsies that these two characters fight or play against each other. Escape failed, not that it matters with Spawn, but trying to go for a tech, doesn't manage to get the right direction. Mid-screen, I mean, it's really anyone's tech. Wow, did he confirm uh, the second uh, hit? Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Stop it. Scorpion procs, I think it was back to the wall. Tried a really aggressive wake-up neutral jump there. K-Mac was respecting a wake-up probably. The up twos and up threes of Kotal Khan are so strong, both in the higher tier of wake-ups in this game. And now anything in a Fatal Blow can kill, but it's K-Mac who gets a punish for all this. I don't this, know about you, Aquaman, but I feel like a shocker. I feel like there is going. To, if we see K-Mac take it over Scorpion Rocks here, there could be a bit of a pop off because oh, I mean, words were exchanged when Scorpion Prox, not by Scorpion Prox, but by the community, when Scorpion Prox won CEO. Yes, I feel like you know, there's a lot of pressure on them to, to play well. And again. you know, there is a lot of pressure to stay at the top. Every single match, every single player you need to beat from here on out. And there's a lot of unfamiliar unfamiliarity, it looks like, with this K-Max spawn, and I am loving it. Because it's very clear that Scorpion Prox knows how to fight spawn, but K-Max is playing in a different manner. Something that maybe Scorpion Prox might not be as used to. The dash and grab once again. And hang on a minute, K-Max. Two bars a meter, one of them gets spent. But Kotal Khan is still deadly. With the meter, the knockdown. That's gonna be it. K Mac is going to send Scorpion Prox within a millisecond to the character select screen. Frame one character select. Wow. Now, what is the character? Cabal, right? Maybe. What's the pick here? Cabal. Uh, we there knew it, it was coming. But, look. Cabal is a popular character, especially in North America. You think K-Mac doesn't know this? Exactly, man? and you, you, he has been given momentum. It's, it's in his hands. He's holding it, relishing it, bathing in it right now. Potentially one game away from pulling off the upset of the tournament so far, I would say. 100%. And K-Mac showing why he's been dedicated to spawn for a long time and actually instantly the armor break comes out no breakaway for you sir but this is going to be a different beast now you're fighting cabal this character is a menace in the hands of these top players as well even more so no flaws but there so far which is very interesting Woo! Oh, whoa. if he had the meter k-mac is gaming right now catch up Yo, canceling oh. the charge and then doing the double jump in is so good. Now, K-Mac, wait a minute. The double charge again. The instant lethal glide has been so good here. What? Oh! Are you kidding me? That was so, so far away. And K-Mac is going to be on match point here against Scorpion Prox. What is going on here? Back to back. Ridiculous stand three anti-airs from, I don't know, so far away. Almost got another one right there. And this is match point for him. I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I don't want to be disrespectful. I've never seen K-Mac play this good. I always knew he was good, but this is like the best I've ever seen him. This is why we play the game. This is why we don't just advance the projected seeds on the start GG bracket. Get off me. The game is played and you got to earn these wins. And K-Mac says, you're going to need a miracle what? right now. How Look at the damage. How did he know Ackerman? He said his head, that's me big damage. Oh, that was a win. As, as response. Oh. No defense bar, any hit right here, this will be some big damage. Scorpion Prox has the answer. He said, I'm sick and tired of getting hit for 350 damage. Here's some, here's some of your own. That's gonna be GG's. He stays All right, alive. hang on a minute. Still match point for K-Mac. Now actually, oh, the, the pressure face. of the situation, he's got to keep his composure here. Fart. Keep doing what you're doing. Scorpion Prox, he knows it's on the line. He's gonna give it his all. Oh, and the air again! again. The fact that he's doing that from what half screen is just the tail end of it. Oh no. Wonderful confirm for Scorpion Prox and more importantly, momentum on his side. 
so much respect you have to give every aspect of what he can do afterwards. Three, three, four, three, four projectile. You don't know. And he's mixing up with the raw charge. Scorpio has a slight lead. Slightly to haven't existed in this match as they're both dealing 350 plus every single touch. He didn't confirm that one. Wasn't ready for it. Gets the instant air. He was so ready for it. Gets him up the defensive bar. One more hit. Oh, the tech. He knew. He knew. That was death. If he got hit there, he was done. Forward 2 2 confirmed. Now Scorpion propped. That throw tech kept him in the game. I guarantee oh, he was dead. A forward throw. 100%. K Mac has a fatal blow right now. And even a fatal blow, anything into it will kill. Scorpion props cannot breathe wrong right now. Otherwise, this is GG to the loser's bracket form. Staring down the face of a fully loaded hell spawn. But he was wondering what just happened right there. I don't know. Oh, Scorpion's doing the right thing. Just He's not pressing the button. He knows he's happy to take it. He will take it for now. Oh my god! Give it to me! No! Are you kidding me? Back. What the hell right now? That was the game! Three. That was the game! Oh, the game so many times! Now hits him again! Three seconds! Two! One! And it's gonna be! What? Wait, what? What in the world? What happened? What? Were they not What's happening? On last breath? Come on! No! He had one extra hit at oh. last breath! He had one extra hit at last oh breath! Oh my god! Oh my god! But no, he, he just had to punish the fatal blow. Okay. He just had to punish the fatal blow. Okay. Okay. Man. It was done. Oh. What? oh my lord, what a disaster. But God, what a game. I had a heart attack. Give me a second. Woo. Unbelievable. Mortal Kombat 11 in 2022 can do this, can be this. Sensational. K Mac takes the early lead. Get the throw punish! And that's gonna be the sword of death. Uh you might be dead there, sir. Oh he's dead. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! That combo damage. wasn't even over, folks! Match point for K Mac again. This crowd is getting behind him. You can hear it. Match of the tournament right now. This is insanity. Just first blood in round number two, though. Scorpion Prox has had the pressure against him so many times, and he's risen to the occasion. He has to so many times again. Guess about the breakaway. Any hit now is really going to apply some pressure. And some damage as long as K Max got the bar. No hit confirm? Yikes. Again! You want to retreat and do this? I'm going to go in for my double glide every time the punish calls it out at last. But K Max. This is what he wants, the 1-1. One, one. He really wants you to press, and he's chased him down every time, but he's just, it's a oh. weird height. Hey! Disgusting anti-air, and still came back and killed, but no, he tries to wake up buttons, and we're going to final game, final round. This was written ages ago as an epic that we're gonna tell our kids in the future. What in the world is happening right now? Significant difference though, is that k -Mac does not have defensive bar, so if it's clipped now, he's in a lot of trouble. Now, what's it going to be? The grab, the tech, really good stuff. Oh, he tried to go for the, the glide, I think, and he messed it up. Oh, no, Scorpion Prox with his, really his first lead of the past four games on to, on match point himself. Can it be any closer? As he tried a little bit of a little bit of a, of a hold on, on the glide, he's trying to throw something different at Scorpion Prox this late. It's such a smart thing to apply. Scorpion's defense has been phenomenal all series long. That standing three, looking to chase it down. Recovers a bit just to keep himself safer. I like that choice. K Mac had a combo in his mind. He was looking for it. Ooh. Shit him with the toes right there. Force him on the breakaway. Big air to air for Scorpion Prox. No defensive bar whatsoever. This is bad. This is bad. One more hit. Can Scorpion Prox bring this? What was from the literal grave? 29, 11 HP left form. K Mac needs a big hit. Lands the air there, but doesn't land a combo. Oh, he expected a jump back. I guarantee he expected a jump back, and that is, although be it an anticlimactic ending to the set, a what a great set, set it was. The we wow. have to rewind, dude. We have to rewind. Round of applause. Um, uh, uh, round of applause to those two players. K Mac. That was one of the best performances I've seen in a long time from anyone. That was incredible. And I, th I thought he had it at the end. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened. I don't know how it happened. The scramble. He didn't punish the fatal blow. He didn't punish he was, the fatal he blow. He was given the win. Scorpion Prox had a W in his hands and he said, it's, it's yours. Hard not to feel bad for K-Mac in that sense.
because it was right there. It was right there. And he, I mean, I'm sure, wouldn't standing three have punished it? Wouldn't it? Four, two, back one. What a shame, what a shame. But I gotta say actually, Scorpion Prox, props all the day, every day. I mean, that was- He's against some Scorpion props right now. It was a reverse. So the Kotal Khan didn't work